I come from an artsy, liberal, kind of middle class English family. Everything sort of went according to plan in my early life. Went to school, started working in the profession I wanted to work in, which was music. Music was absolutely essential to me, I mean, since I started. It was the thing that kind of gave me a sense of enthusiasm, meaning. Cocaine was very, very common because it doesn't have the loser stigma that other drugs do. And then someone said, do you want to try this heroin? So it was cocaine and heroin. That was what sort of rugby tackled me to the floor. Music business can be a bit more tolerant of that, but then there just comes a certain point where you look terrible, your performance is suffering, and you clearly don't care about it. At which point people start cutting you so much slack, even if they're your friends. So I kind of lost all my work. Uh, I was pretty broke, um, pretty hopeless. I just opened it and there were huge pictures of people, monks and patients, detox patients in this setting, mountains and giant Buddha. The images spoke to me very clearly as a place where transformation might happen. I could see that there was a lot more work to be done before I felt secure. But I could also see that it wasn't just a matter of like fixing myself and back to normal, uh, that there was a lot more to be gained than I had ever had in the frame of what I wanted out of life. The traditional uh, unholy trinity is sex and drugs and rock and roll. So I, it was probably sort of like sex and herbal tea and rock and roll, you know, which isn't such a great song title, but it, it's more sustainable. It's such a gear change from the priorities. Outside. What I gained immediately was a structure, uh, a, stru uh, a familiar structure that I knew was beneficial, which is always good for somebody who's had a bit of a crossroads who doesn't know what they need to do next in life. So I was able to get much more deeply into meditation practice than I ever had, and it unlocks a lot of transformations. It's definitely unlocked uh, compassion, which possibly didn't come to me terribly naturally. Not that I was ever a mean person, but I think I might have been quite a narcissistic one. I will probably stop being a monk at some point. I might work in the field of addiction, but not professionally. But it'll be okay. It'll be okay. I think it's quite important to have a sort of purpose, a, a clear goal, a sort of pole star, a north star in life, but that doesn't necessarily have to be your career.